she's literally my soulmate. I've contemplated calling my children Chloe and Drew after this bag and yeah, it's just amazing. I love you. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I am showing you my designer bag collection. This is something you guys have been asking me to do for literally years, um, but back when you were asking me to do it before, I didn't really have a collection, I just had one or two bags. And now I certainly do have a collection, I'm so excited to share it with you, so let's just get started. Please don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel if you're new here today and don't forget to turn post notifications on for my channel so you are the first to know when I post a new video. Before I show you my bags, I just want to let you guys know for complete transparency that I did not pay full price for every single one of these bags. Some of them were gifted to me by the brand, sometimes I was offered a discount or a gift card and of course some of them I did buy myself but to be honest every single one of my bags has a little story that I'm going to share with you today so um, you'll know whether I paid for it whether it was a gift or I had a discount etc. I don't really have an order I may go brand by brand so I will start with my Louis Vuitton bags. The first is my classic Neverfull this is the medium size I think they call it Neverfull MM and this was probably my first like design and a proper designer bag and I wanted to get this one because although I know like a lot of people have this it really is just something so classic it's an amazing everyday bag you can honestly wear this every single day and really get your money's worth out of it it's not actually leather it's the special Louis Vuitton canvas so it's really really durable it literally doesn't scratch or mark at all unless I suppose you really go at it but in general it's just a really hard wearing bag that's perfect for every day I was really lucky to get one with the pink rose ballerine interior apparently this is not something that they do all the time generally the interior is red when I went to go buy the bag I didn't even think about the interior when I got there and there was pink obviously I chose the pink it's got this cute little attachment like wallet inside that you can unclip and kind of use it as like a clutch bag if you want to go out like for an evening and just take a few essentials you kind of get two bags in one which I really like with this you can also use these little side um tie things to kind of change the shape of the bag which I think is really cool and all together yeah this bag is one of the best purchases I've made because it's just really classic and it's just a great great bag that will last you pretty much forever. My next Louis Vuitton bag is my most recent designer purchase and it's the bag that I'm currently most obsessed with I'm using it every single day and it's my new pochette Matisse in pink so if you guys watched my Majeve vlog from January you will kind of know the story to this but in case you haven't I'll just quickly tell you um I've loved this bag for a really long time like probably three years there was kind of a craze about this bag going on a few years ago it was really really hard to get even now I think this is sold out and it's kind of one of those that I never thought I would get because to be honest I don't have time to go tracking down designer items um, and also it's super duper expensive like really expensive but when I went to Majeve in January with Josie we we're in Terminal 5 that has all the designer shops we had like an hour to kill so we thought we'd go window shopping um, and we went in and we saw this bag and another pochette Matisse in this beautiful like cream and beige two-tone that was new just like on the shelf together and we both saw them at the same time and we were just like oh my god that's literally us and we just took them down we were kind of like playing with them looking at them they said they were the last ones and again they've been really hard to get hold of anyway I was thinking oh god no I can't get it it's too expensive you don't get duty free off in Louis Vuitton if you're only going to Europe and we were going to Geneva and then we realized that Geneva is in Switzerland and Switzerland isn't part of the EU so we actually did get the VAT off this bag which made it cheaper by about 300 pounds. And so we kind of left and went off to think about it. We almost missed our flight because of it. And in the end, we both decided, you know what, we're young. We both work really, really hard. We have the means to buy it, so why the hell not? And that is most certainly the most impulsive thing I've ever done. I'm not an impulsive person whatsoever. I plan everything I do in advance, otherwise I have anxiety. But you know what, it felt so exhilarating. I had like an adrenaline rush and it was just so much fun. And I just have such a wonderful memory attached to this bag now. Such a good, positive, exciting feeling. And it really is the best bag ever. It's so gorgeous. So it opens up like this. Kind of like a little envelope style I've got some stuff in there now the inside is gorgeous it's all stripy and it's actually really spacious it fits everything that i need to take out on a day-to-day -day basis with me and you can hold it top handle like this and detach the strap well personally i just do wear it crossbody or over my shoulder and it just looks beautiful it really spices up every single outfit that i wear and makes it look so much more chic and fun the color is amazing it has been like the best bag ever so far i love it 
so, so much. I'm literally in love with it. I want to marry this bag. Another one of my all time favorite bags and probably actually the most I've ever spent on a bag or actually spent on anything in my life other than my car is my Gucci bag. This is a purchase that I spent probably about six months planning, saving up the money from selling loads of my old clothes. If you guys don't know, my followers will know this, but if you're new, um, the way that I kind of manage my money for designer purchases is I restrict myself to only using money that I've made from selling my old stuff. It kind of helps me keep myself in control because it's quite easy to get carried away and it kind of encourages me to be ruthless with clothes that I'm not wearing a lot and get rid of them. And then I put the money together for something really, really special. So this is the bag, it is the Gucci Dionysus. This is the large size, it's the largest one they do. And it's honestly such a great size for every day. It fits my little MacBook in. This is the Dionysus Bloom and I just fell in love with the way that these flowers really look like they're hand painted on. And I think it's such a beautiful contrast to this really like iconic, almost borderline, borderline tacky Gucci print. Um, I think Gucci have like done a really good job of like rebranding and making themselves cool again. But once upon a time, this Gucci print was just like gross to me. <laughs> but now I love it and I just love the flowers. I think they're so beautiful. It's got this gorgeous kind of deep red suede. Um, it's like this envelope style. And then it's got the classic Gucci clasp, which I don't know, is that a tiger? I don't really know what it is to be honest. Um, and it also has this chain strap, which is very heavy. This bag is really heavy actually. My arm's aching already. This bag is kind of heavy before you've even put anything in it. So you just open it with the clasp there. Um, and this is the inside. So you've got three sections there and then also a little secret compartment there too. I'd say out of all of my bags, this is the one that receives the most compliments. And I think that's just because it's really striking and very unique. Um, I was really nervous actually about buying this. By the way, I paid for this 100% with my own money in the Gucci store on Bond Street. And even up until the moment that I bought it, I was still slightly unsure, I was slightly anxious about it because I just didn't know how it would pair with the rest of my wardrobe if I would really get the use out of it to make it worth the money because this is really, really expensive. But I have to say that in the time I've had this, which is a year and a half, this has been one of my most worn bags. It's been absolutely amazing, totally worth the spend. And I feel like I'll just have this forever. You know, it looks antique already. One day this is gonna be like a vintage Gucci bag. The next bag I have to talk about is my beloved Chloe Drew bag. This has to take the top spot for my most worn slash used bag in the history of my life. And this actually has the best story as well. Here it is, by the way. Isn't it just the most beautiful bag in the world? So basically, this is probably the first ever designer bag that I literally fell so hard in love with. I thought about it like every single day. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And at the time, I did not feel like I could justify how much it cost. This is like over a thousand pounds. Side note, if this went missing or anything happened to it, I would uh, buy it again in an absolute heartbeat. So I know that sounds extreme for the price, but it's been the best bag in the world. It goes with every single outfit. You could wear this on the beach with like a white summer dress. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but style wise, you could wear this on the beach. You could wear this, you know, um, with beautiful summer dresses. It looks gorgeous in winter with like knits and faux fur coats. It also makes the perfect, perfect evening occasion bag. I've worn this to so many events, weddings, everything. It's been the most versatile, incredible bag in the world and it's worth every single penny because it makes all your outfits look more expensive and better. As Becky Bloomwood in Confessions of a Shopaholic would say, this bag is an investment. So the story of this bag is really long, I'm gonna try and condense it, but if anyone has read The Secret or knows about The Secret, that is how I got this bag, basically. I'm a big, big believer in The Secret. If you don't know it, I recommend you just spend seven pounds on Amazon and potentially like change your life, honestly. So I was obsessed with this bag and I thought about it every single day. I literally visualized myself with this bag, how I would wear it, all the Instagram pictures I would take with it. And I had the bag on a Safari tab on my phone. I just Googled Chloe Drew bag cement pink and I went on Google images and I chose like the nicest photo where it looked the nicest lighting and everything. And I had this tab open up on my phone and it was from myteresa.com, which at the time I'd never heard of MyTeresa. So basically it's like a net-a-porter, far-fetch, basically an online designer luxury boutique. I'd never even heard of them and anyway, every single day I would go on my phone on Safari and look at the bag on the tab and now I don't even really know why I did that but I did. And basically after about three months of me doing this, I get an email in my inbox, completely out of the blue, I did not contact them, I didn't follow them on Instagram and start liking their photos to try and get attention from the brand, like I literally did nothing like that, it was a completely out of the blue email from my Teresa, basically offering me a gift card for the exact amount that the bag cost. Like how do you even explain that? 
think about this, I could have pulled up a picture from any website, Chloe website, Selfridges, Netta Porter, Farfetch, any one of them, and also any one of those brands could have been the ones to get in contact with me and offer me the gift card. But no, it was my Teresa and the universe just aligned for me and got me the bag that I had been dreaming of for like a year. And I honestly have to say that it's been the best bag in the world. She's literally my soulmate. I've contemplated calling my children Chloe and Drew after this bag. And yeah, it's just amazing. I love you. So next I want to talk to you about this little baby over here. This is of course another one of my absolute favourites and it's my Prada Saffiano Galleria bag. This is another bag that I have loved and admired for years and just honestly never thought that I would have. I never thought that I would get one because they're so, so expensive. These retail for like £1,800, which is just like, <laughs> Scary. Now about a year and a half ago in 2017 I went to Vista Village with my friend Amy and she'd kind of organised something with Vista Village and she actually got us both a voucher for I think £250. I didn't have any obligation to post anything or anything like that, it was just Amy being really kind. So yeah, I had this voucher to spend and I didn't really have any expectations, I didn't go thinking like I want to get anything. Anyway, we went to Vista, we're just having a really lovely day looking around and we go into Prada and literally as soon as I walk in, this was on like the table. Uh, as you walk in and I almost felt like my heart sink because I thought oh my god it's there but I'm just not gonna get it like I'm not gonna buy that it's too expensive but I went and obviously had a look and it had been reduced from £1,800 to about 1100 so like £700 cheaper for no apparent reason at all like there's literally no defects but I still walked away because I thought no that's just really impulsive it's still a lot of money even with the gift card off but the more we walked around and I thought about it I just couldn't get it out of my head and I was walking around the village thinking about it and I just thought oh my god the stars have aligned for me yet again when will I ever get this opportunity again to get this bag that's such a low price literally a thousand pounds less than it costs and to top it off the amount that I would have had to spend on the bag with the gift card and everything was literally something like five pounds off the exact amount that I had already saved in my separate luxury fund account. Like what are the actual odds of that happening? It just doesn't happen. It was literally five pounds off being the exact amount. And my philosophy in life is when something is meant to be and it's staring at you in the face, then you have to go with it. Otherwise you're like rejecting the universe and you can't be doing that. So we went back to Prada and at this point it was like early afternoon and the village was so busy. There was literally a queue to get into Prada. And when we got near the front, I saw a woman like holding the bag and I was in the queue, like trying to catch eyes with the sales assistant that was with her being like no, 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 please, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy, please, I'm gonna buy. and I think that she directed the lady onto something else I think I'm not sure but anyway I went straight over to her and I said thank you I'm gonna buy it and honestly again absolutely no regrets with this one at all it's so classic this is like my grown-up bag um, I feel like it's very professional but still very feminine and it looks like it means business and it's just so classic the color the shape it's just something that will never go out of style. Even in like 20 years when I'm 45, I will still wear this. It's ageless, it's timeless. This is just a forever bag for me. I'm so, so happy that I went with my instinct and got it because it was totally the right decision. Now I'm going to show you a few of the bags that I have from Coach. Now Coach is a brand that I do count as designer because the prices are quite high. They're not in the realms of like Prada or Gucci or Louis Vuitton, but they are not high street prices. They've really updated the style and honestly their bags are some of my favorites that you can get right now. Um, all the colors and the styles are so, so gorgeous. So this is the first one I got and this was actually gifted to me. So I didn't pay anything for this bag and it kind of introduced me and helped me fall in love with the brand. So this is one of Coach's most classic bags. This is called the Dinky and it's been around for so many years. Like it's really, really old and it's just a really cute little dinky crossbody bag with a nice long strap and I just got it in this beautiful tan colour and I actually customised this bag so I added all of the flowers um, onto the bag. This is something that you can do in store on their Bond Street store, it's called Coach Create and you can embellish certain bags, they've got all sorts of cool things, not just flowers, it was obviously just me that went for the flowers. I love how it gives you like a really unique piece, like nobody else has this bag, just me. This is something that I've taken on holiday and worn with like beautiful white cotton dresses or broderie anglais and yeah I just think that's so classy but with like a kind of boho vibe and I just get so excited by the fact that I'm like the only person with this exact bag. So after I kindly got gifted that bag I got really into the brand, I was checking out all their stuff on 
online, looking at their Instagram, they honestly have like the best Instagram game in the brand business. And I'd had my eye on this bag here. And again, I was kind of reluctant to buy it because the colors are a little bit, you know, out of my comfort zone. It wasn't something that I thought I would wear that every single day. So I was reluctant to pay for it. But then in the January sales, it literally went to like probably half price or maybe even cheaper. I did decide to get this bag because it was just such a good deal. So here is the bag. I really, really love this. I think it is so unusual. It looks like a vintage bag. That's what I really love about it. It does not look modern whatsoever or trendy at all. I call it my doctor's bag because it reminds me of like a kind of 1940s, 50s doctor that used to do house calls and bring their little bag and open it up and take all their things out. I love this really like short, wide shape with a top handle and this beautiful like brassy hardware. You do not see a lot of this. In bags now, it's usually something like gold or silver or even rose gold, but this is really kind of vintage looking brass and I just think it looks so unique and gorgeous. It does have a strap, but I personally think it kind of takes away from the whole sort of vintage style because I think it looks very cute if you do just hold it like this. And I just love how this bag is so different. Like nobody I know has a bag that looks remotely like this and that's why I love it. And then the last coach bag I have is the one that I just got for Christmas from my boyfriend and it's this beautiful pink coach Selena bag. So this is I think one of the Selena Gomez bags, but there's no like branding on it or anything. It's completely plain and it's so, so classic. I love how it has a slight hint of that vintage style shape like my other one, but it's just a lot more modern and wearable. And this color is so amazing. It literally goes with everything I have. It's just gorgeous. I love also this gold. It's kind of like a really nice yellow gold, but it's like matte. It's really, really pretty. You can also do some really cute personalization with this stuff as well. So my boyfriend got me this little tag that says FCB my initials in gold and you can also choose a little charm to go on it so he got me a little bow he knows me so well and this is a really really lovely everyday bag kind of like the Prada one it kind of does look quite sophisticated um, but still super duper feminine and cute and girly I adore this and I just thought it was so thoughtful of my boyfriend to get this for me because it's like the most Freddy bag ever like there's nothing about it that doesn't scream me and my style. So yeah, it's absolutely perfect. And I've been using this a lot since Christmas. My next bag is my beautiful classic Mulberry Bayswater. This again, I got from Vista Village. Me and Amy went last summer and I did a video all about it. It's actually a really fun video. And this time Vista Village were even more generous and they gave me 500 pounds of voucher to spend. And this is what I ended up getting. Obviously I did have to put money to this as well. And I really love it. It is the most like classic everyday bag that you could get. Um, it's so, so huge inside. I mean, it's literally gigantic. You can fit so much inside. And um, most people do actually wear this bag a different way, um, I'll just show you. You'd probably be more used to seeing this bag in this way with the sides popping out. And I honestly don't like how it looks like this at all. I don't know if it's just me, but I just think it looks really weird. And when I saw this on the shelf, I didn't really like it that much because of that. And then the lady came over and she was like, oh, you can also pop the sides in. And she showed me and I thought, oh my God, now I really, really like it. And I think this color is amazing. It's so versatile. Fits in with my wardrobe so, so well. And I just love how handy it is. Honestly, if I'm going away on like a train journey or plane and I need to fit like loads of stuff in with me, this is the perfect bag. It has got this um, top handle strap, but I do mainly actually use it with the crossbody and just whip it over my body, um, as Josie likes to say, hands free. And again, like most of my bags, I'd say, it's just a real classic. It's very basic, it's very plain and simple, but it does have that really gorgeous luxury feel. I'm so, so pleased I got it. It's a great addition to my collection and it's definitely my most practical bag. The next few bags I have were all completely gifted to me, free of charge from the brand. The first is this incredible Bulgari bag. So in terms of how much my bag's actually worth, this is my most expensive bag, even though I didn't pay for it. And it's one that you don't see me wearing a lot because of the color, but I just adore it. I honestly think this is like a little work of art. This was gifted to me. It was actually my first ever gifted piece that was luxury or designer and I really didn't know that I was going to get it. I got invited to this um, afternoon tea with Bulgari and Save the Children and me and Coco went, we both were invited and it was a really lovely afternoon and then at one point they just came and they gave us these bags and I was like, oh my god. I was just stunned. I did not expect it at all, especially how much these bags cost. They are serious. These are serious luxury. So this is the Bulgari Serpenty bag. It's got this serpent head as the clasp, which is very fancy. It is the most inconvenient bag ever. It's 
tiny. The chain is also like a snake as well, which is really cool. And yeah, it's just so fabulous, like beyond words, but it isn't one that I use really at all. I have worn it a couple of times um, for occasions where like some of my other bags feel a bit too like frivolous and I need something a bit more like you know, but even though I don't really use it very often, I still love it and I feel so, so lucky to have it. And then my last three bags are all from Aspinall of London, which is a brand that I adore so much. I wish I could have every single one of their bags, honestly. They're amazing and I'm very, very lucky to be in contact with the brand and they do occasionally send me beautiful pieces. So the first one I ever got was this one. It's my favourite and it's the classic Aspinall trunk clutch and I'm just in love with this bag. It has that vintage feel. I'm all about it's very very heavy you could literally kill someone with this bag the corners of the gold are very sharp honestly if I'm about to get assaulted um, and I have this bag I could just whack the person over the head with it and honestly they are not coming out of it very well at all the color is amazing I'd say it probably is not the most convenient bag in terms of size and shape um, just the dust bags in there, but it's not terribly inconvenient. You can still kind of fit everything that you need inside There's also a strap in case you want to just throw it over your shoulder But I do personally like to just hold it like that I think it looks really chic and I'm just obsessed with this bag It actually sits on one of my shelves because it's a work of art to look at as you can see It's just to die for so beautiful the second bag they gifted me they sent me this which I love. Again, this is like one of my grown up bags. Sometimes if I need to break my outfit up a little bit because there's too many light colors or maybe I'm wearing like a black top and a pink skirt, I need to kind of like connect the dots. Then I use this bag. It's really spacious. Again, you've got the top handle, but the option of using a strap. Just look at the inside. It's so like sexy. I can't remember the exact name of this exact style of bag, but they do this in so many colors. And honestly, there's so many that I really, really would love. But this is a really good staple. And again, like I've said with all of my bags, this is just a classic. This is something that I could just take through my entire life. Um, it's patent leather, so it's really shiny and snazzy, and it just looks really like you mean business when you wear this bag. And it's very sophisticated. And then the final bag in my collection is this Aspinall trunk clutch. This is part of Aspinall's um, collaboration with the designer Giles Deacon. He um, collaborated with Aspinall on a range of beautiful bags and they kindly sent me this one, which I love. I wore this to the Victoria's Secret fashion show. I think it's beautiful. So it's just the classic trunk clutch shape, but it's this beautiful, um, really bright coral color and it has this amazing embroidery of the feathers in the key and then the sides all rose gold which is beautiful and yeah I just think it's really eye-catching and unique I just think this is incredible so guys that is my entire designer handbag collection I really hope you enjoyed it maybe in a few years I'll do another one but for now I'm just so happy with my collection I think it reflects my style and personality so well I think all of these bags most of them you would look at and think that's a Freddy bag and I've actually never put all of my bags side by side like this and kind of assessed them but on reflection I think I've made really good buying decisions over the last few years. They're all really classic. Um, I don't have any regrets about any of them. And I also feel so, so lucky and grateful to have had the opportunity to buy some of these with gift cards and discounts and even on some occasions have them completely gifted to me. I feel really, really grateful for that. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next Monday. Bye.